Steam it up, chef. Steam it up, baby. If there are two things I love in life, it's food and sports. I'm Wes Bryan, a born and bred North Carolina kid, and I'm going to take you on a journey to some of the best spots in Charlotte to get your grub on with some of the best and brightest athletes and personalities. Back in the day, I had plenty of games, and now I'm here to show you that Wes got range. Our first stop here on West Guy Range is here at Kickstand Burgers and Bar off of Central Avenue. And let me tell you, this is not your mama's burger place, okay? They got burgers called the Cuban, the Fender Bender, and their signature, the Kickstand. I can't wait to go in here and check it out. They got all types of different flavors in here. So let's come on in here and let's eat. Here we go, we're going back in the kitchen to see how they get down in kickstand. We're going to watch the chef put some things together, try a little something, and hey, let's just see how they do it back here. Come on with me, walk with me. All right, today we're going to make a fender bender. Okay. It's our big burger, it's popular, we sell a lot of them. My insurance is up to date. I just paid my insurance, so. This is one you're going to want a lot of napkins for. Okay, for any fender bender, I'm taking care of Geico. I can get y'all that $50 in a week. All right, what type of bun is that? I use a New York Bakery's JJ Casson. Okay. Nice fluffy and they're not too heavy so you can get a big, big burner with it. Oh, yeah, when you're cooking a burger, you don't you don't touch it much, you just kinda let it just cook and do its thing. Well you wanna turn them to keep them cooking evenly all the way through. Okay. But you don't want to press on the juice out. Okay. These, like you said it's a very popular one. By how many of these do you guys pump out a week, a day? Like how many do you guys? Uh put it around fifty a day. Wow, 50 of those out of day. Well, every time you send that tower and burger out, everybody goes, hey, hey, what's that? I'd like to love it. Well, it looks fantastic when you put it on the plate. For a crispy sandwich topping. And it's not quite an onion ring. Not really big enough, but it gives you just enough crunch on the, the bun. Yeah. About ready. Saute of mushrooms. A bit of crispy bacon. American cheese. Looks fantastic. A shot of steam. Steam it up, chef. Steam it up, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look at the homemade chili. Look at cheap pea chili. Dash coleslaw. My crispy onion tangles. Oh, but that's how you decide how many. You just put the stick in there oh, yeah. and dig them out of there. Pile it up, make it soft. Okay. Man, look at I that. I'm not here to make you skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Voila. The Fender Bender is fantastic. That's definitely a burger that after you eat it, you might fall asleep in your car. You might wreck. I don't know, man. Make sure your insurance is paid up for the Fender Bender. Chef, we appreciate it, man. Fantastic. Defender Bender, let's go. We're here at West Scott Range, here with one of the best kept secrets in the Queen City. My man, Austin Duke, wide receiver from the UNCC 49ers. And we got my man, Jeff, from Kickstand Burgers and Bar here to explain and tell us all about this wonderful spread we got here. Eat your heart out, because it's looking real good right now. Tell us what we got, Jeff. First, we'll start off with one of our signatures, the Fender Bender. You have your beef patty, American cheese, chili, bacon, mushrooms, slaw, and topped off with the onion tanglers. Another one of my personal favorites is the kick sand. It's our signature burger and signature dish. It's topped with brie cheese, caramelized onions underneath, and the patty is what makes it unique. It's a patty, it's got uh, chopped garlic, basil, sun-dried tomatoes, and onions in it, minced real fine. So it's actually, when you cook it, it seasons the whole patty. Big favorite here in Plaza Midwood area. It's two grilled cheeses with the beef patty and tomato slice on top. We call it the hungover cyclist. Definitely a good burger every Saturday or Sunday morning. With our sweet tots and a little hot syrup dipping sauce. See, I thought this was just toast on here just no, to go with it. I thought you cheese. put all this in the toast. I didn't know that was actually Add a little bit of bacon or jalapenos, definitely the best. Wow. Every day, this is my go-to. If okay. I ever can't decide which one, this one. This, this is across country. Uh, it's going to be a jalapeno cilantro spread on the bottom. It's not spicy, it's just got a good little flavor to it. Then you have your beef patty. It's got a chipotle barbecue on it. And then it's topped with pepper jack cheese, guacamole, and pico. All right, man, it looks fantastic. We can't wait to dig in. We appreciate it, Not a it, problem. Man. You guys enjoy. 
Alright, now, on to the big show. My man Austin Duke, like I said, from the UNCC 49ers. We're going to talk a little ball and talk a little bit of food. So getting things started off awesome now. He came from a school, Independence High School. We know all about it. seven titles. Just ridiculous, ridiculous history. Great receiver, Mario Ray, Hakeem Nick, Muhammad Massaqua, you name them. And now you come and you're having a better career than any of those guys. What does that mean to you, and how do you feel you stack up with those guys? Um, it's, it's definitely an honor. Like I can, <laughs> like that's definitely surprising. I never really saw myself in that light. But um, also, I mean, they played higher division ball than I have okay. at, my, at this point in my career. So I'm going to humble myself. Um, I definitely have a lot more work to do, and those guys are way more accomplished than me. But um, at this point in my career, I'm just trying to ball, man. Just trying to give it my all each and every day. And, um, I don't decide my schedule. I don't decide who I play. I just take my opportunities and I and I go with it. And, I, and that's just how I pride myself every day. Now coming into that, and that's a good point you say because coming into this season, we know Charlotte started off in the FCS. Now they're moving up to FBS. And so, can Charlotte win immediately? We saw what App State did, and like you said, what do you say to the guys who say that? Oh, this guy is just putting up these numbers because of the teams he's playing against. Mm. You know, you, you tune those guys out, man. Like, I, I'm not even supposed to be here. You know, according to the experts, the football gurus, I'm not even supposed to be playing college football. Right. I'm not supposed to be playing football, period. So, for me to be where I am today with, the, well, with my teammates, man, it's it's already a blessing. So, um, you know, you just tune them out and, and you go about it. You know, it's just football at the end of the day. You know, the, the highest level, the lowest level is football. And uh, I've been playing it since I was seven years old. And, and you know, the competition just keeps getting better, and uh, I just keep getting better, and I just give them my all, man. But. Now, coming out of school, like I said, we know you watch college football like everybody else. What was the dream school? What was the school that you said, hey, I would love to go here? And then why did you think so? When you asked me this question on the phone, like, this is, like, I was smiling so hard. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's funny because I wanted to go to Wake Forest since I was in fifth grade. Wow. Um, Forest in the building. Wake Forest, and then when I got to high school, no, middle school, I started thinking about West Virginia. So the funny thing is, you got Coach Lambert, who's from Wake Forest, and yeah. you got Coach Mullins, who's from West Virginia. Yeah. So it just so happened that they came to Charlotte. Oh, you had a nice mesh of the two. So I had a nice mesh of the two, yeah. Okay. So. All right, now with you being a slot receiver, we've seen the emergence of slot receivers, the West Welkers of the world, uh, lots of guys out there in the NFL now. It's a coveted position. Mm -hmm. So who do you kind of pattern your game after, and why do you feel, what do you, what do you feel you do that puts pressure on the defense and makes you a matchup nightmare? Uh, Wes Welker is the mental side of my game. Okay. That I sort of cling to. Antonio Brown, even though he's not, you know, a predominant slot receiver, um, I like his athletic uh, ability. You know, he's not the fastest guy, he's not the tallest guy, but he's right. still very productive. Um, Andrew Hawkins is a new guy that I just started looking at. He's very quick. His yeah. routes are very deceptive. He is. He knows how to get in and out of his cuts right. and out of his breaks. So I, I right. study his film. Uh, Tavon Austin, you know, is a guy that Coach Mullins references me about. Right. So um, he got a chance to, you know, see Tavon grow up and grow into the man that he's become as a college athlete. Yeah. So just having sort of that comparison in um, in, in, uh, in Charlotte, and then uh, Steve Smith. That's okay. the biggest guy. That's the mentality. That's the attitude that right. I have. I actually had a chance to race him when I was back in 12th grade at his mm -hmm. little camp, Audrey Kill, yeah. and he beat me by about by, by a step. Okay. Um, but I can beat him now. I, I, I've been waiting to like meet him and like see him again so I can race him again. But um, Steve Smith's mentality, he's a dog. And you know, that's where I sort of try to, you know, imitate him at and his routes. You know. now, would you play until you got knocked silly like Wes Welker? Because he probably don't remember what he had for us. He probably <laughs> wouldn't remember any of this food at that. Yeah, it's toughness, man. We're not supposed to be here, so we can't give him a reason to take us out. Right, so. right, right. Now let's talk some food. Like I said, it's West Scott Range. We talk ball, but we talk food here as well. Now tell me about coming up, your Southern kid, North Carolina. What are some of your favorite foods coming up as a kid? Like, what are some of the things that you really like? Steak. Okay. Macaroni. Okay. Now, who makes the best macaroni? Because I know you got an aunt, a grandma, somebody that makes some unbelievable macaroni. My grandmother. She okay. Has, she has Alzheimer's now, so she can't cook anymore. Shout out to what's her name? Uh. Francis. Shout out Mr. to Francis. Francis. <laughs> Francis sound like she can throw that. Yeah. Okay. South Carolina, Southern, Southern right. lady. So um, definitely the macaroni, extra cheese. That was it. Now, do you have 
any restaurants that you like around here. I know you're a college kid. I know you're on that college kid budget. Is it Top Ramen and, and Beanie Weenies? Or do you actually get to go somewhere every once in a while? What's some of the places that you like around here that you like to eat at? Um, when I'm not on that college diet yeah. of eating everything that you see, right. going to people's house, going by your mama's house, <laughs> yeah, exactly. eating up everything, um, I would have to say Wingstop, Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, Wild Wing Cafe is pretty good. Okay. I like wings, man. Wings okay. are my favorite. Yeah. Can't go wrong with wings, wings at all, player. Chipotle, Honey Barbecue, Buffalo Wings, yeah. anything. Like, I love wings, so that's probably my biggest places. Okay, now we're going to go. This is the night before the National Championship. Game. Charlotte getting ready to play Alabama. You get the pre-game meal, okay? Now, it's not going to affect you. You're not going to come out and run a 4-9 or anything like that. You can put together a three-course meal. You can combine home food. You can combine restaurant food. But give me the three-course. Give me an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert. Appetizer, I'm going to start off with six hot wings. Okay. Wings only. I'll pay an extra dollar for From the where? From where? For wing stock. Okay. You know, right. Buffalo Wild Wings closed on me. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, I got that. Then for my entree, I'm going to go with steak, mashed potatoes, corn, cornbread. Okay. From where? You got any places? From uh, the crib? Is it? I'm, I'm going to say, yeah. I'm going to say from the crib. Straight from my pop's house. Straight okay. from the crib. Okay. All right. You know what What's about? pop's name? Bruce Duke. Bruce. Yeah. Okay. Bruce Duke. Hey. Yeah. Come on, man. Bruce Duke, how can you go wrong with a name hey. like that? <laughs> how can you go wrong? That sounds like somebody that can cook, yeah. man. Yeah, he fry fish really well, too. Okay. Then my dessert, I'm going to go with, let me see, I'm going to go with a hot fudge brownie. Okay. Chocolate syrup. Okay. Two scoops of vanilla, uh, what's it called, Byers, Byers ice cream. A little decadence ain't never yeah. hurt nobody. Yeah. No, I'm all. all right. All right. And then with some strawberries on top. Okay. Whipped cream. Okay. And there we go. Damn. Okay. Now, do you cook or is there anybody on the team, any coaches that can cook? Or do you like to cook? What, 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 right, listen, I can cook. Okay. I can cook a mean steak. All right. You know what I'm saying? I, I can actually cook steak a little better than my father can. Okay. I, I can cook oh, some steak. Bruce Duke, you're putting a challenge yeah. out there. I, I can cook what are you going to do that Bruce Duke can't do? I'm gonna let my season. I'm gonna let it okay. moist. I'm gonna get it moist. Okay. And I'm not gonna cook it as long. Uh -huh. I'm I'm gonna, I like mine a little red on the inside. Yeah. But people on the team that can cook, all the fat boys can cook on the team. All yeah. the big sexies. Okay. They can cook. Yeah, Casey Perry. Okay. I go down there for some snacks. The case. I seen him. Jamal Covington will. Yeah. will you know what I'm saying? Will. Uh, Life, you know, Anthony Hamilton in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's his name. <laughs> you know, he was on the grill. That's gotcha. Jamal Covington gotcha. right there. He'll season it up. Gotcha. T Lock, he'll season it up. Yeah. Book, he'll season it up. All yeah. them boys, they season it up real good. So the, the fat boys, they can cook. All right, well, Coach Bain's got, like I said, Coach Lambert is my guy. We know he's the head coach of the Fort Knox. Yeah, I know mean, he's like more of a president now. Dude. He's such a nice guy when yeah. I go to practice. He's like, oh, hey, what's how you doing? He gets on down. He's like, hey, do that a little better. But I know a different Coach Lambert, okay? But do you have a good, I know the linebacker Coach Lambert when he was hungry and sounded like a caged dog <laughs> during winter conditions. So do you have a good Coach Lambert impression you got one? Mm. Let's just say you I, ran the wrong route on a play or something like that and caused an interception. What's I, he gonna I still play for him, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it like this. <laughs> yeah. He'll come up to you. And he'll talk to you. Come. Yeah. We just talked about this, now, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Go ten, go ten yards. Okay. Not, not eight now, right? Yeah. Huh? Now let's go. Yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. there it is, right there. Cause my impression, of, like I said, winter conditioning, 2003. Hot gym, 5:45 in the morning. We heard, huh? You gonna do that? You gonna go over those bags, huh? Get down, let's go, get going. That's the lamb, but I know. Okay, that's my guy. I love you, Coach Lamb. But hey, my I man, Austin Duke. We here. We gonna take some of this bread that we got going on here. We'll catch up with y'all later after we fill our stomach. Woo. Step look a little bit bigger on my shirt, man, cause I sure am full from coming in here eating all these great burgers. You saw the spread we had, it was fantastic. I didn't eat it all well. I might have, don't tell nobody about it. But shout out to my man, the Frisbee catching dog, Austin Duke, the wide receiver from UNCC for joining us. And hey, stay with us. West Guy Range, this is our very first episode. We're gonna be all over the Queen City tasting the finest food that Queen City has to offer. So stay with us next time. We're gonna have another great guest. We're gonna talk ball, we're gonna always talk food. West Guy Range, we out of here.